Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very, very, very special one. We're going to talk about all the eyeshadow palettes. Actually, the brands, the eyeshadow palette brands that does matte formula the best. Like it, it's very, very difficult to nail down the matte formula that just blends each and every like shade in the color story beautifully without any like patchiness or like build up or any crepiness or anything like that. And these eyeshadow brands I'm going to talk about, they just do matte so beautifully, so wonderfully that any shade that you put on your eyes, it just blends like a dream. So if you want to see which are those brands, then please keep on watching. Okay, let's just take the obvious out of the way because they just do matte so wonderfully like no other like they just set the bar high up there and i'm talking about blend bunny cosmetics i have the blend bunny primal palette and that is what majorly i have on my eyes for the mattes and i love them so very much like i feel like they are the ones that help me fall in love with colors because i was very 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 scared of colors but these shades blend so wonderfully that's just a dream to work with these colors like i love 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 playing with these so very much so i would highly 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 recommend blend bunny cosmetics and i feel like for the shades that you're getting the price is just right like i cannot recommend them enough the next brand is like my go-to for blending out if there's any patchiness anything on my eyes that feels like not just right this is the brand that i go for and just blend out the edges and just works like a dream and that is hindash cosmetics obviously they have only come out with like two palettes so far and these palettes are like full matte palettes the shades that they've included the way these blend on the eyes are so magical like this is definitely the most used palette from them uh, in my collection but this is the monochromance palette a little more on the colorful side, I would say, as compared to the Beautopsy. But these shades just blend like a dream. You can use these shades on your eyes as well as on your face too because it's marketed as like a face and an eye palette. And I just love these mattes so beautifully. Now, there are certain type of mattes. Like, let me just explain that too. In the Blend Bunny formula, these mattes are super opaque like you would see the punchiness of these shades with like one dip on your eyes hindashes is not like that hindashes a formula are very very sheer but buildable even if you go with like a huge amount of like product on your brush it just blends like a dream and then you can like build up uh, on top of it but there would be no patchiness at all so these are like foolproof formula that any beginner can like do on your eyes and eyeshadows can be a little tricky to work with when you're just starting on with makeup but these are like just foolproof like i love them okay the next formula that i want to talk about or the next brand that i want to talk about is a melt cosmetics i have several of their palettes and the mattes are like the standout products i would say i just like i'm eager to get into these palettes because of the mattes like i love 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 these mattes so so very dearly i would say and melt is known for their mattes so this is the gemini palette which is like a neutral color story with like pops of greens beautiful for every day and if you know me i just love gemini too so very much because i love my pinky brown so much like this is so good like this is like a very peachy pinky berry color story with like grungy greens like very rose inspired i would say and then i have the amori mariposa palette which is beautiful for those like jewel tone looks these have some beautiful color story i love 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 them so much it's very opaque but blend at the same time this has like that punchiness as soon as you put it on your eyes but it blends like a dream love them and the packaging on top of that is just a plus plus like look at the detail that goes in the packaging of these palettes is just pretty beautiful and like so gorgeous to look at i love it okay now let's get the elephant out of the room let's talk about pat mcgrath 
Pat McGrath shadows are super expensive in the market and that's not like a news to anybody. But things that Pat McGrath does the best, I would say, is her special shadows and her matte formula. Like you would generally see like these deep, deep, dark mattes in her palettes. But these deep shades, if you blend it out on your eyes, it can work as like a transitioning shade, a crease shade and a deepening shade at the same time. You can blend it and one shadow would look like three different shadows. The amount that you put on your eyes, it just it's just so beautiful. She just knows her shadows. Yes, for sure they are expensive, for sure. And I would not recommend this like on like a regular price. She does sell a lot, lot on her website and I would definitely definitely ask you to wait for a sale and these shadows are like magical this is her like holiday style packaging so even the mattes in this palette is really really pretty but her mothership palettes are just like top notch to another level love it okay now let's talk about huda beauty i love huda beauty's formula especially her like big palettes this is the mercury retrograde palette i love each and every shade in this palette that's why i picked out this this is just beautiful with variety like the mattes just blend like a dream and the shimmers are also beautiful but this video is not about shimmers but the mattes are just stunning the way it blends in the eyes is just like no other and again the packaging is just stunning love it okay now let's talk about a brand i feel like it's very very underrated and that is nabla nabla mattes are so creamy so blendable i compare their mattes so much to the natasha denona mattes and natasha denona is right there and i'm going to talk about them in just a minute but the nabla mattes are so beautiful i have the secret palette which is the bigger palette the standouts are the mattes like they're so beautiful so blendable so gorgeous on the eyes it it just doesn't crease it just blends there's no patchiness at all the color story are so beautiful but if you want to just like dip your toes into nabla check out their like cutie palettes and you'll be amazed like how beautiful the formula is this is their wild berry palette again it's like a berry tone palette but it has like duochromes and beautiful mattes. I love, love this palette. And then I have the platinum palette, which is more of the neutral color story, neutral cool color, to color story, I would say. So pretty. So, so, so very pretty. Like, look at that. It's cool tone palette, but with like a twist to it. Love it absolutely love these palettes like nabla's mattes are just like kiss worthy love them talking about like nabla let's also tackle natasha denona because i feel like natasha denona uh, mattes and nabla mattes are very very close to each other i have several natasha denona palettes but even if you're like looking for like five pan palettes like their regular size five pan palettes i love this palette this is the coral palette this is my dream palette which is absolutely beautiful like this is like my favorite palette for every day for glam looks and it just it just so so pretty this is like me in a palette i love it absolutely love it this was like my number one palette for last year so no no points for guessing at all and then I recently, very recently purchased another palette from Natasha Denona, which I've not showcased in my channel uh, before. I have to, I have to use it. This was like my birthday gift to myself, but I'm just going to show this is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette because I love my purples. I couldn't wait. <laughs> I had to, I had like some coupons and I am into like cool tone, but like purpley color story. And I feel like this, I'm going to enjoy a lot. So I cannot wait to dive into this, but I have no doubts that like Natasha Denona formulas are like absolutely amazing. And I love, love, love their mats to another level. I would say I love it. Now let's talk about another brand, which I've not purchased from a long time, but this palette, I just go to again and again. So I had to, I had to mention it. And this, this is dose of colors and this is the friend Cation palette super super old but i still when i wear it i'm so blown away by their mattes this is another formula which like just blends like a dream there's no patchiness there's no build up nothing like it just melts into your eyes and gives such a beautiful gradient that we are looking for like from the dark to light to light and it's just stunning love 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 their formula and then the next indie brand that i have to talk about is sydney grace and this is the tiny marvels palette <sighs> the shades that were chosen in it and the way it blends on the eyes like the mattes the shimmers everything i would say but especially the matte it's just 
stunning they just do formula like so beautifully they invest their time to make a palette and i feel like the quality just comes through with this and look at the color story it's just so beautiful mel did an absolutely amazing job with this it's just stunning i feel like this is definitely still unique in my uh, collection of like so many palettes that i have I still enjoy this palette so very much. Love, love, love Sydney Grace's formula. Okay, let's talk about another indie brand, which I feel like I have to talk about this brand no matter what, but I was like blown away by the quality of this. And this is from Sugar Rizzle, the mattes palette. This is an all purple palette. The mattes were so beautiful. I was really, really blown away by the quality of the mattes that was inside this. I really cannot wait for Sugar Drizzle to come out with like more palettes with a little bit of mattes. I would love to see like 12 pan eyeshadow palettes from uh, Sugar Drizzle with like different, different color stories. I, oh my God, I cannot wait for them because their formula is very, very comparable to the Blend Bunny uh, mattes, I would say. Very, very beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Next, I have to talk about It's Bell Cosmetics. Their Fruity Realm palette is like an all matte palette. They do shimmers like no other. They just kick it out of the ballpark without a doubt. But their mattes in the previous palette did not like excel in formula. But this formula I love. If you want like neons that are punchy on your eyes, this is the way to go. I love it. And the price point is just right. This palette retails for like $18. Can you beat that price? I don't think so. It's so beautiful, so vibrant on the eyes. And I definitely wanted to give a shout out to them too. Okay, now let's talk about another indie brand, which I feel like they do palettes at an affordable price, like a reasonable price, I would say, but gives us so much beautiful color story. And that is Glam Light. I have several palettes from Glam Light and you know I love them so very much. I started my love affair of Glam Light with the dark, Dirty Martini palette. And if you know me, you know me. Like I do not like greens at all. And the first palette that I tried out from them was the Dirty Martini, which is a green palette. And I was shook. Like, oh my, the camera would not capture the essence of like how sparkly the shimmers are. And the mattes are so beautiful and so blendable. They just took my breath away. Like so beautiful. And this is like my most used palette in my collection, I would say. Uh, like I used to wear this all the time. I still wear it all the time, especially for my office looks or like running out the errands look. This is like a neutral palette with a twist and with such a special color story. I love it. Like this is the chocolate martini palette. It's so stunning, like so, so, so stunning. I still love, I, I think I recently did a video using this palette on my channel, like a get ready with me. Everything, like the mattes, the shimmers, everything is stunning. And I, again, a pastel palette or like a colorful palette that I fell in love with was the Michaela palette. I just love this so very much. It's very hard to impress me with a big palette. And if I love a big palette, that's just saying something so much. Like I love, love this palette so much. Like everything that was chosen from this palette was just special. It was so beautiful. And these, I'm so scared about these, like these two rows. But when I apply that on, your, on my eyes, it just transformed. It's just magical. Love it. Absolutely gorgeous. And the last brand that I have to, have to talk about is Patricta. And this is the Rose Dimension palette. I just love this so much. Like I feel giddy when I like talk about it because I use this so often, like so often. This stays right up on my vanity. This is like the most used palette for my office, I would say. I love my pinky browns and this just gives it to me at every level, especially their mattes. They just blend into each other so nicely, but they still have their significant difference in these tones. Even though it's like a rosy palette, I love everything about it. The creams, the shimmers, the mattes are just chef's kiss. Love it. Absolutely love it. And those were like the brands that I really wanted to talk about, especially for their matte formulas, because they just do matte the best. So if brands, if you want to take your mats up a notch, I feel like this is where it belongs. Like I love it. Like 
I feel like there are a lot of people who are very scared of like the multi-chromes, duochromes, like super shimmery shades. And especially when you have like texture on your eyelids, I say, I feel like that is when like people are a little away from like shimmers, but they look out for like matte formulas and they just do matte the best. I really hope that this video was entertaining for you guys. If you did like it, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do let me know in the comment section below what are your favorite matte palettes in your collection. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.